Thanks, Dave. Uh, like you said, sitting here with Coach Stewart. And, Coach, I know it's uh, a disappointing day, but then again, like we talked about, you just played a really good football yeah. team, and your kids played well. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, obviously anybody in this profession, when you're as competitive as we are, uh, you are disappointed in the end result. Uh, however, uh, a tremendous amount of bright spots moving forward. You know, we just, we just played an awful lot of freshmen, and I mean true freshmen. Uh, there was a lot of those guys that barely have hair on their chest out there playing Big Ten football. Um, and uh, and I tell you, going into the game, I said all week, I said, hey, the biggest thing I want to see with these young kids is when we get in that first huddle in that big stadium and it gets to rocking and everything, what is the facial expression going to be? Are they going to have the big eyes? Are they going to be scared to death? Um, or are they going to go play? And I thought for the most part, I was, I'm, I'm extremely encouraged moving forward at the way that our kids played. I didn't see anybody that just – uh, looked like a deer in the headlights or anything like that. They just went out there and they played, um, you know, and, and, and a lot of things. It's just, you know, when you go back and you watch the tape tomorrow, you're going to have to do two things. You've got to, you got to correct the mistakes, but then you also, you also have to see the reality of some things are just ability made, if that makes sense to you. Hey, the, 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 that guy was better than our guy. I'm telling you, that front four that we just faced, that number six, uh, Corey Phillips, I think is his name, that defensive end, he's as good as I've ever seen. I know that everybody makes a, a big deal out of Smoot, and he's a, he's a heck of a player too now. I'm not taking anything away from him. But that daggum defensive end they got can get after the quarterback. You know, absolutely, absolutely, Coach. And, you know, something else stands out to me, and you said it because my view is a little different than yours. I saw kids that came out and they fought. Yeah. They played hard. And like you said, kids that are just out of high school, most of them, yeah. uh, you know, you got kids that came out and they played hard. I heard in your pregame you wanted kids to come out and attack. Yep. You want them to come out and play hard, and that's what you got today. Yeah. I know you got to be proud. Yeah, I, I am. I am. Um, you know, uh, I thought that we played, more importantly, I thought we played as a team. You know, when you got all of these new guys who haven't gone to battle um, together, um, and seeing them go out there, and, and uh, there was no no finger pointing, no hey man, y'all get y'all stuff together, get you know we'll get our stuff, none of that stuff. Uh, you know they were uh, they just went out there and played, man. And, and um, obviously I'm I'm disappointed at the result. We got a lot of things we got to clean up, um, but for the most part, there's enough bright spots to where I think when we go back and we watch that film tomorrow, uh, we're going to be very encouraged by what we see. I know I'm encouraged, coaches, alumni, and I look forward to next week. Next week, 6 o'clock at Roy Stewart yeah, Stadium, Missouri Stewart. State coming. Uh, going to be a completely different opponent. And, Coach, I'm looking forward. I know you got a big week ahead of you, but I know we're going to be ready, and I look forward to next week. Going to be a heck of a time next week. Absolutely. Coach, thank you for joining us this afternoon. And, again, good luck uh, next week. And, uh, again, we're proud of you. Go Racers. Thank you. Thank you.